Well, what's up, everybody? My name is Dick, and this is an episode of the Q the Muse podcast. Oops. All Dick, no Ash. Uh, I'm going to do a riff of the day segment. Um, let's just jump right in. <laughs> That is a new riff I wrote today, this morning. This, it's Saturday. It's still Saturday. I'm recording this late. Um, I woke up this morning, and I've been working on a project with my son for the last week or so. It's a, a cover of an acid bath song called um, The Mortician's Flame. Um, anyway, so I had this guitar set up for that tuning. Now, I've been playing in drop C or drop D tuning you know, for the last 15 years or so. And when I was young, I learned a lot of songs in standard tuning, like Metallica, a lot of the acid bass stuff's in standard tuning. And uh, I just moved away from it when I started playing in drop D, eventually moved to like drop C, which is like kill switch engage and metal core tuning. But uh, I just, I found this week back to this standard tuning that there are things that are new again. So let's break down that riff, right? So the, the opening riff, it's a weird, uh... it's like a, it's, it's on a 127 BPM, but it's one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So that picking is instead of. You know, it's, it's, I can't explain it. I'm not that, somebody, maybe somebody else can explain it to me. But the, the, what I'm trying to focus on now and uh, where I'm at as a guitar player, as a rhythm player, as a writer, is punctuating and really capturing the, the, the individuality of the riff or the person playing the riff. You know, not just mechanically bam, 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 this note, this note, this note. You know, the, the Nolly guy from Periphery is making a, a bass guitar plug-in, which is cool. You know, it's like a, I, have a, I have a drum plug-in that I write drums with, and I love it because it's teaching me more about percussion. But the, 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 the instruments and stuff, it just doesn't make sense. To me. You know, I want to capture that. There's a slight bend in there. That's just the character of the riff. I mean, that's like classic dime bag stuff. He would say, instead of, instead of doing the, the straight picking up hammer on, just bend it. Then the second part of that song uh, is a cool, I don't know, like, I guess they're minor diminished chords. But... 
and that's more of a happy major chord. So like it starts. Let me go to a clean channel. So this is a the these type of chords are ones that I love. They're like the the fuel. Um, they have a character to them right so and in this tuning you know i'm used to playing these down here but in this the standard tuning so the the opener is and that that minor that's a it's actually a a, a little change i stole from acid bath they do do have a song that's like a And that change is just a change that I've loved since I was a teenager. That, that. So it, it's an upbeat. And I will say this guitar, when I switch to the neck pickup, it looks like a humbucker, but it's wired for a single coil. So whenever I tap over to the neck pickup, it just it's wired, the jazz pickup's wired as a single coil. So but then that third riff in here, or the third uh, chord, is like a minor. It kind of gets happy. Still kind of not so happy. A little more happy. You know, I this progression is just I love. I'm loving it. Sad, but oh, not so sad. distortion on and you strum it and it's like velvety and you got to make sure your guitar is intonated properly because it can get pitchy really quick I've I've played these chords to uh, various, very varying degrees of success in keeping them in tune. This is one of my favorite guitars. It holds okay. So then there's another part to that. What I ended up doing after that is I've got this cool new switcher, the G2 switcher, that controls the, the amp head, all these the pedals and everything in the chain. It also has a cool pre and post gain setting, just like on an amplifier, so I can control. I can go ahead and switch it to a channel, program it to to program my volume to go down. I always I always use one channel, um, the distortion channel, and when I want to clean it up, I just that's why I have the neck pickup wired to single coil, so I can go from like a riffy. I like the tone more of that dirty channel t gain down becoming clean, typically. But I've been playing with a switcher, and I have this channel set up with um, this is my Earthquaker Devices Afterneath Reverb pedal. It's my favorite pedal in the world. It's like hands down the coolest thing ever. Uh, but that riff played with that pedal, full volume neck pickup gain volume down on the G2. I'll explain that in another video. But Working, sorry, that wasn't the cleanest playing, but I'm working on this this finger picking uh, hybrid style that um, the uh, Brent Hines does from Mastodon. I like learn. I didn't learn, but I watched videos of him playing, and it just blew my mind. Like, oh, how come I I play I finger pick when I play acoustic? How come I never try to do it electric? So I just 
wrote, this is the first thing I've written with a hybrid picking in that vein, so that riff. Um, but building on that, you know, I think I'm going to stay writing in this C standard tuning. I'm having a lot of fun because it's just... I'm finding it easier to get nasty, heavy tones in this tuning. Maybe I'm a dumbass and late to the party, but I don't know. I really, really, really like it. Um, hope you guys enjoy. It's late. Sorry for making a quick uh, impromptu video, but hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. Hit cuethemuses.com. Follow us over there and check out my band Dave's Last Night. All right. I got a three button stop to do this. One. To see you guys. Bye.